Hey guys, Aisha G here and I'm back with another video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And this plant right here will be really happy Bruh. that you did it. Okay. All right guys, so today we're going to be talking about the lip bar. I'm going to review their liquid matte lipsticks. If you haven't heard of the lip bar before, they are a black owned business and I'm actually really excited to review their stuff. I've never had the chance to do it before so I'm really happy that I get the chance to review their lipsticks now. Now this isn't a sponsored video at all. I was actually at Target minding my own business girl and ran across lip bar and I remember seeing them on Instagram and I actually screenshotted a few of their their post way way back in the day and I always wanted to try their line so I saw that they had it at Target so I picked a few up um, about five different colors I picked up and I decided why not do a video about it why not do a full review um, just to show my support and also just to bring awareness just in case no one else has heard of them just like I did a few years ago all right so the five colors I picked up that I'm going to try out today is Rebel, Drama Queen, Curl Friends, Savage, and Unimpressed. If you have been watching me before, you know I love to do lip swatches, so we're going to do that today. Now, they did have quite a few of the other liquid lipsticks um, and lip glosses and things like that, but I just really love matte lipstick and I just picked the shades that I felt just by looking at the bottle that will fit my skin tone the best. All right, so the liquid lipsticks come in a packaging like this. It says on the packaging that it's a vegan cosmetics line. They also say that they are challenging the beauty standard which I like. They also clarify really big in big letters here that they are made in the USA. And also they include their ingredients listed here, which I think is amazing um, for you to know exactly what you're putting on your skin. Now I paid about $12.99 for each one, which rounded up, that's about $13. That's the exact same price that's already on their website. Um, and also, if you check out the website today, you may come across a sale. I think it's like $10 right now, but I just happened to pick them up from the store. I will have the full list of the ingredients down below in the description bar. So if you wanna check out the ingredients list, the full list, you can go ahead and do that. The first one I'm going to swatch for you guys is Drama Queen. Now guys, honestly, when I took this out of the package, I was like, it's this small um but honestly you guys are gonna see why i'm not mad at it and i also wanted to go on the website to look up a few things just to make sure that i'm saying everything correctly in the right way um but drama queen is more so of a darker shade of purple on the website it doesn't really explain the shape the color shades too much um, it definitely gives you the ingredients, it gives you the details. They also give you how to apply the liquid lipsticks best, um, which is great. Um, but the details that I see about Drama Queen is more so like a swaggy type of just personality explanation of the lipstick, if that makes sense. Um, but if I were to explain the type of shade it is, it's definitely a dark purple shade. Now I picked this one up because I used to have kind of a dark shade of purple just like this. Um, I lost it last summer or maybe like two summers ago. So I picked this one up. Applying it on my lips, I definitely noticed that it's super creamy. Creamy times three creamy. They're very moisturizing. I like how it felt on my lips. Uh, also very pigmented I know this is a dark color so you know what else are we gonna expect from it, it has to be pigmented right but honestly guys I was really shocked on how much the color matched the bottle sometimes when you pick up colors you know lipsticks I mean it doesn't necessarily match the color that's on the bottle and you kind of wish that you looked at it in the case of this shade of drama queen I didn't have that problem. Also, I noticed that they dry 
pretty quickly on your lips so for drama queen the way it dried it was not cracking um it also wasn't peeling off or it didn't come off when i rubbed my fingers on it or even when i kind of rubbed my lips together it wasn't coming off at all like once it was on and it dried it's on the next shade i'm going to swatch will be rebel it's actually the color i have on my lips right now this is rebel now the website is explaining this to be more so of a burgundy color i 1000 percent agree um it's definitely burgundy but it's not a dark burgundy color you can tell it definitely has a mauve type of undertone to it, like a pinkish mauve kind of undertone if that makes sense now it wasn't until i applied rebel to my lips that i noticed that this and this little tube right here you get a lot of product okay i must have put that thing on my lips and it was like splash squiggly splash 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 paint lipstick just everywhere so just keep that in mind that if you do pick up the liquid matte lipsticks that you do get a lot in this bottle um the applicator is really nice as well it's very easy to apply so you will need to make sure you are just kind of just aware of how much you're putting on your lips i really love this color on my lips it matches my skin tone really perfectly so the next shade we're going to talk about is savage i'm a savage okay so Savage is more so of on the brown family side. It's not completely brown though. It definitely has orange undertones in this one. Um, and also maybe some red. But I really, really like this color, you guys. On the website, it also mentions that this one is slightly different from the other ones that I picked up. So I'm going to just read what it says. So it says here that Savage is enriched with shea butter, avocado oil, and jojoba oil. And all of that is so that it can soften your lips. So... I thought that that was very interesting because I did notice that it was just a tiny bit more thin than the first two I put on my lips. The first two were extremely creamy. This one was not so creamy at all. And now I know why. Like literally now I know why. So I definitely more comfortable with the fact that it's thin because of that and not because they kind of messed up on their you know ingredients or anything like that now to talk about the color of savage i love anything that's brown like any color of a lipstick that's brown i love that it looks so nice on my skin tone on my complexion um but also it's definitely versatile it's going to look good on everyone's skin no matter if you're black asian hispanic or even white so it's definitely for everybody guys i think this is going to be more so like my go-to color i like colors like this that's not too bright um but also more so on the dark side now also just like the others i had no problems with applying on my lips uh, i also feel like this will definitely stay true to what it says on their website that the lipsticks actually are to last all day so i haven't tried you know the test to make sure it lasts all day but just how it feels on my lips it just makes me feel right now that it would. But if you do want to see me test that out, let me know. So the next up on the list is Curl Friend. That name is so cute. Curl Friend, like girlfriend, Curl Friend. That's, that's so cute. It's definitely a more so on the brighter pink side. It's not too bright, but it's definitely bright. And that was a shock to me because from the bottle, it doesn't look bright at all. So when I was applying this, I was surprised. I'm not going to lie. I was definitely surprised but I wasn't mad at it if anything this is going to be a shade that I use a liner with for sure I typically don't use too many liners um, because I don't use too many bright colors but I definitely like the color and how it looks on my lips so I definitely will be pairing this with a liner for today's video though you are seeing me apply this without one um, and you're definitely going to see again how pigmented 
that color is on my skin tone so definitely was feeling that all right so the very last shade i picked up is unimpressed i really like how they describe this color on their website so it says she isn't impressed by the trivial thing she already has everything you think you can offer her make sure you step to this girl with your a game because she's unimpressed <laughs> Now, I'm not saying this is not personality, but I definitely like the attitude behind Unimpressed and I definitely like the color on Unimpressed as well. But this, I will honestly say that this is kind of closer to the color that I thought that Curl Friend was going to look like, um, but way more on the darker side. I like this because it is a darker pink tone type of color so i can wear this you know if i did i could wear this like kind of a everyday type of look if i wanted to it definitely can be used as more so of a natural look if you wanted to do that depending on your skin tone on me this definitely doesn't look natural at all but it's a pretty color i really like it and I'll definitely be wearing this a lot. Now just like the other four, it still applies well. Also remove it from your lips very easily guys. There is no smell to any of these liquid lipsticks by the way. So I don't want you thinking that there's like a perfumey smell. There really is no perfume smell. Which makes sense because these products are vegan. Alright guys, so that was it. That was literally all the colors I picked up from the lip bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope that you go to Target or even go to their website at the lip bar. It will be linked down below in my description bar. So that you can go and pick up these lipsticks, girl, okay? They also have blushes, highlighters lip glosses everything that you pretty much can think of or maybe even want they i'm pretty sure they'll have let me know how you feel about the colors that i picked up in the comments down below i love to hear from you guys all right my kings and queens i'll see you in another video bye what you looking at what you looking at what's up what's up what's 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 up really just go ahead and subscribe guys because she got an attitude she got an attitude just just do it just click the yeah just do it it's okay it's all right